Hello, bonjour, bonjour à tous. Bonjour. bonjour. This is the next station, so I guess this is where the framing and the polishing happens. Interrumpimos su programación regular de Madagascar para traerles un anuncio especial desde El Salvador. That's that smooth landing, baby, smooth landing. El Salvador, baby. El Salvador. Ah, a beautiful summer here in El Salvador. I'm back again, guys. I'm happy to be here. I'm ready to see what different stuff this country has to offer more than what I've ever seen before. So many people say, what took you so long? Well, guess what? <laughs> I had to travel the world. Currently, I have to put a pause on the Madagascar content, and then eventually I'll get back to it. The only reason why is because I will be doing live streams here in El Salvador. Down in Madagascar, I was unable to do live streams because Wi-Fi was hard to come by and things like that. So that's why it's essentially on pause because there's no time limit on that. So overall, here is El Salvador. Let's see, my boy over there, Alex Portillo. I'll come around. <laughs> so let's see how I can get around this thing. Eh, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> All right, thank you, Justin. I'm blessed, bro. How you doing, man? Yeah, All right, <laughs> I'm blessed, man. Yeah, great to meet you. Nice to see you, though. Nice to meet you too, man. So here I'm You're hooking up with my boy. Yeah. yeah. In person. <laughs> I'm taller. Yeah. I'm hooking up with my boy right here, Alex. He's gonna take me around. He's gonna show me a great time. He's been um, talking to me for a while on Instagram, and so you know, it's our first time meeting, and I'm happy to see some. Wonderful people here in El Salvador, and let's see what this journey has to offer. <laughs> so, yeah, man. How was the flight? Uh, oh my goodness, this flight had like the worst turbulence in the world in regards <laughs> regarding my ears. I can't even hear myself right now. I can't hear either, like the pressure oh, going down. Yeah, down. they did that to me. I can't hear anything. Yes, all right. Um, if you work, you can go get the car. Okay. And uh, cause... I'll just wait right here. Yeah. All right, gracias. All right, see, once again, El Salvador has the kindest people. You know, we've been talking for a while on Instagram. He hit me up a while back, and he wanted, you know, hang out and whatnot. So we'll do that. So I'm just going to chill here and wait for him to get the car, and I'll go ahead and check into my Airbnb. Where am I going? Santa Tecla. Yes, I've been there before, but I've never really experienced the city. The only thing I've done was overall just get semitas and peperechas and stuff like that. So right now, we're gonna put that on hold and get stuff that we've never got before, but also see what Santa Tecla is all about in the La Libertad Departamento. Vaya. Woo, it's hot as heck out here in El Salvador. I'm out here dressed, ready to impress, probably ready to go party. But hey, it's a beautiful summer day. I'm telling you guys, you need to come out here to El Salvador and experience it for yourself. Stop being scared, man, stop being scared. Come out here. As soon as I came in, beautiful women, Wanted to take a photo with me. I'll put that on Instagram. Oh yeah. Okay, mommy, you chiquita. Que le vaya bien, okay? Gracias. Okay, gracias. Yep. How you doing this, Alex? Woo, this is a nice key. I like it. Oh yeah. Bye. Yeah. Got to check and see if there were stuff in the back. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. How about this place? Yeah, man. Immediately regretted wearing a hoodie. That's all good, man. All right. So um, let me see the timing. They mentioned like six, so it's probably best. So um, I have an Airbnb for the first time in my life, and they said I have to get in by six p.m. So I think the best thing to do is probably check in there okay. first, and yeah. then we can go out to eat or whatever. Sounds good. Did you have anything in mind on what you wanted to eat or whatever? Uh, I was actually going to ask you. If, oh, yes. You know, what, what you were 
what were you craving? <laughs> well, see, this time in El Salvador, I would like to try to get foods that I've never had before. Okay. So I've already had the semitas, okay. I've had the pupusas, revueltas, <laughs> con loroco, con queso, con frijoles. I'm done with that on this trip. Maybe I might get one for lunch or something, but I won't showcase it. So whatever that's different, I'm about. So how far is it from San Luis Talpa to Santa Te Tecla? Uh, great question. I've never been to San Luis Talpa. <laughs> this is San Luis Talpa. Oh, really? You didn't know that? I, I, we know it as Comalapa. Like uh, Comala Comalapa. Comalapa. Yeah. yeah, this is San Luis Talpa. This is where the airport is. Many people think this is San Salvador City, but it's not. It's in San Salvador Departamento, but the city is San Luis Talpa. This is where we are. So, <laughs> yeah, see? Most people know it as either Comalapa or Aeropuerto Monseñor Romero, but I think they changed the name recently, if I'm not mistaken. So, not just International Airport of El Salvador. That's it. Okay, so now Plain I know. A, so, okay, so now I know a new word for a new name for the airport, Comalapa. Yeah, that's how it was known for the longest time. Right. Is that a native term? Um, Comalapa. I would think so. Okay. Yeah, so. Like oh, most of the names of cities and towns are just negative. Okay, wonderful. So I'm gonna do something that I should start doing. So, Alex, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to the audience. <laughs> well, my name is Alex. I'm one of JC's subscribers, so we don't have to do the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows. He but, knows uh, about that. Nuevo suscriptor. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been following his videos for a while. He, you know, he seemed cool and. Just offered to uh, pick him from the airport, pick him up from the airport, and uh, treat him for lunch. And happy that he's uh, that he's here. Gracias, muchos gracias. I appreciate it. You know, and, it, and this is what it's about community. You never know who you might meet. You know, sometimes on the internet you see people, you're like, hmm, who is this person? But sometimes you meet them, you might have a wonderful time. So I'm happy to meet him. We've been talking for a while, and you know, you said you've been in Virginia for studying in the USA. Yes, I I did study in. Uh, in Virginia, all right, in uh, the city of Lynchburg, Virginia. Oh wow! Uh, for a few years, and uh, came back in uh, 2014. Oh wow! So you've been back for a little bit what, more than what seven? Uh, nine years. So nine years. Nine years yeah. You don't want to go back to the USA? Uh, as a, as a, as as a you know as a tourist, yeah, absolutely. I would love to visit the U.S. Um, in a studying capacity, probably not. <laughs> okay, and you got your but, degree and everything? Yeah, everything. Look at that. So, so, see, he's one of the people you should look up to. You know, he was able to get his visa to study abroad, but he didn't just run away and just be like, you know what, no, I'm done. I, I don't want to see El Salvador anymore. He was like, you know what, I'm coming back to my home country and he's making a difference, right? So that's what, you know, some people aspire to do things like that. Either way, you can do whatever you want in your life, but I look up to things like that because I wish I could do, you know, things from my uh, mother's home country, Haiti, but it's a little difficult at this time. But hopefully when things get better, I can uh, put more effort into trying to help um, the spots that my family live at first. Um, currently right now I'm in the process of getting a Haitian passport. Um, so I would like to go back and try to do more for the country of Haiti. So my friend Alex here is doing what he can for El Salvador with his knowledge that he learned abroad and he's just gonna keep pushing it. Is that? All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Buenos tardes a todos. JC Max is here. I'm back here with Alex Portillo. Today, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves some typical Salvadoran food. And here we are right now at Tipicos Margot here in Santa Talca, El Salvador. So I told you one of the things I wanted to do this time, I wanted to show you foods that I've never had before. So this is the spot that I think I should be at to try some Salvadoran food that I've never laid my eyes on. Absolutely. So, There's yeah. tons of staple food, so I'm sure you'll, you'll probably like it. Yep, so Alex is going to help me out and make sure I'm not just getting the same <laughs> simple pupu sauce, which is great, but I don't want that right now. This is a simple trip for new things. Vamos. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Picos Margot, señor. Buenas tardes. Entra. Da. Gracias. All right, let's see what this is all about. So this is just like a fast food or you sit down? It's like, uh, well, you, you order from the, it's like, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, honestly. I'm blank for it, but yeah. it's kind of see-through. Okay. The dishes they have available and you pick 
So you, so you just stand in line right there and yeah. then just go down the line, okay. Yeah. And then down the line is the cashier. All right. And what's this right here? You could order pupusas here and you not sit in pupusas, line? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you only want pupusas, right. but if you want something else, then, then where you would pick and choose. How interesting. So see, pupusas is a national food here in El Salvador. And it's such a big thing that if you only want a pupusas at Tipico Smargot, you can actually just order right here on the digital screen, press the button, and then proceed on to pick it up without having to stand in line. That's how serious pupusas are here in El Salvador. Vaya. Okay, let's go in line and see what this is all about. Oh wow, even before I'm ordering, I'm super amazed at what I'm seeing. A lot of fried foods, corn dogs, they have like churros. Um, in Spain, I had something like that. It's definitely typical Spanish food that you'll see from all over the world, kind of like mixed in one selection, and I'm loving it. You got the tortillas, you got like the tortas, hula hula, corn dogs, beef on a stick with some, what do you call that? Oh, wow, that's pork? Yeah, that's pork with tortillas. Tortillas, yeah. Me, tortillas, I never really get along with tortillas that well. And this is called nuegados? Uh, nuegados. Oh. Huh? Tortas de lote. Tortas, this is yeah. tortas de lote. So this is just corn and fried. Fried corn. Fried corn, right. All right. Uh, you know, I want all nuegados. of this. And what's this? Nuegados. Nuegados. This one? Yes. Oh, wow. Just as a, as a big puff instead of a... Yep. Oh, wow. I'm actually trying to lose weight too, and I don't think this is gonna help me, but it's okay. This is one time in my life for me to order something different, so I'm, I'm about that. Wow, I'm so excited. It's like cebada horchata are the best ones here. Wait, what did you call that? Cebada horchata. Cebada? Cebada is the pink drink over there. Cebada horchata? Cebada? Ceba no, cebada is one, and then horchata is the other one, the green. Oh, what's cebada? Um, good question. I just like it. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna try a new drink, that pink drink. Right in the middle, first time I'm gonna have myself some cebada. So Alex graciously decided to um, be here today and I'm happy for that and he said he's gonna treat me. So definitely we're gonna try as much of these new things as possible. All right, gracias, oh yeah. Hola, yes, I am the caballero of the day, caballero. Um, I would like to try some nuevo comida, typicos de El Salvador, solamente de El Salvador. So you see that right there? Uh, Chuchos, chuchos. Estos son pastelitos de res y pastelitos de pollo. Pastelitos de res, that's the formal name. For okay, so you call that chuchos? Si, ¿Sí? <laughs> se podría decir que si, sí, así le llaman también. Vaya, okay, let's try the one con uh, pollo. De pollo. Okay. Para comer acá o yo va? Uh, aquí. Uh, okay, and let's try some... Uh, si, sí, yes. Hey, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es uh, salsa? ¿Qué es eso? Este. No. Este. Yes. ¿Qué es eso? Es plátano y miel. Ah, no, no, no. It's okay. I'm sure it's good, but um, I see some plátanos right there, so I'm going to get some of that. Y... Delote frito. Delote frito. Esas son tortitas de lote. Tortitas sí, de lote. sí. Uno, uno de eso. Sí. ¿Ese este, este es un uh, churro? Churro Espanol from Spain, okay. Um, I did have that in Spain, so no, it's okay. And, you, and what's inside of this? Uh, it's like it's some kind of cream. Right. I don't really know what it's made of, but it's like creamy. Okay. okay. Is there like a big plate? Oh, oh, muchos gracias. Gracias, guy. Muy amable, muy amable. Okay, um, uh, uno de, de eso. Empanada de, de leche y de frijoles. Leche. Let's do the le leche, 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 de leche. Les agrego azúcar también. Uh, sugar. sugar. Sí. sí. All right, typical of Salvador, man. I can't wait to try this. This is a staple food as you're gonna get. Man. Oh yes, okay. Um, ¿qué más? Um, what's this? Uh, pl plátanos. Un uno. Un plátano. Sí. Y, um, this, no, we already got that. Okay, um, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Okay, so let's try some. You know what? That should be it. See, sí. wait, wait, wait. You want some refried beans? 
S um no, let's get one of these. Uh pudding? Pudding. Pudding, yeah, pudding. I had some of that in um where was I? At Tikizaya. They have wonderful pudding. So I definitely want to try that again because it's a great dessert. So another typical Salvadoran food. Vaya. Muchas gracias, okay? All right. Una cebada, right? Almost Una cebada. Oh yes, the drink, Tomar. With ice? Uh, no yellow. Y no una horchata grande, por favor. Con hielo sería la horchata. Eh, sin hielo. Y... Mire, disculpe señorita, también quería yo este... Yo se me tocó una, un, un tamal de lote con crema. You love your tamales, bro. Yeah, man. He's all about the tamales. Wow. Un tamalito de lote con crema. Sí, gracias. Vaya. Muchas gracias. So you call it cebada? C cebada, yeah. All right. And they have a uh, pajia or pajia, popoto, yeah. popote? I don't know. Oh, for you. Ah, muchas gracias. Mira. So, yeah, in Mexico they call straws popotes or whatever. But here they call it pajia. Pajia. Dos. Muchas gracias. gracias. All right. Man, I don't need to carry this. All right. Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do is put this down. Um, Alex is going to go ahead and take care of it. Um, so I need to carry this. So this way um, I can bring it to my table and show you what this food is all about. Muchas gracias. Buen provecho. Gracias. All right, man. Look at this, man. Top of the line food here in El Salvador. Uh, let me bless this food. All right. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for allowing me to get here safely. Thank you for the kindness and the generosity of Alex for bringing us here and um, suggesting this wonderful place. Let this food nourish our souls and thank you for the people that made it. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Yeah. Okay. So. These tomatoes look little, but. They look, oh, but it's filled they, with they, love. They, it's filling. It's. Okay. It's fill you up. Okay. So, I'm super interested in this, uh, what do you call this again? Cebada. Cebada. So it's like some pink drink. I don't know what it's made of. So what is it made of before you try? Let me I actually try? look it up. Cause oh, okay. I've, I've drank it all my life, but I, I don't even, I'm not, I've never stopped and asked. Okay. You know? so, Maybe I should have. So, so what is this cebada made of? Barley. Barley? Let me see. Yeah, barley. Barley. Yeah. All right, so it's this barley is the drink. barley drink. All right, the last time I've had anything that was barley related was a uh, food called colo and Ethiopia, but it's like little like round nuggets and pellets. So let's see how this barley drink tastes. Cebada. Okay. It's good. It sort of tastes like a nutriment. I'm not sure if you guys know what a nutriment is. Yeah. It's like that little can that gives you like protein. It definitely tastes just like that. It also tastes like like cough syrup. Yeah. But in a good way. <laughs> so like for like kids. The sweet side of it. Yes. yes. And how's your horchata? Ah, uh, it's pretty good. And that's made with moro? With a moro, yes. And some cinnamon? Like cinnamon, yeah. Mm. So, one thing I can say is, when I saw it mixing in that little jar, I thought it was already cold, so I should have got it with ice. But it's okay, it's like, not too cold, not too hot, so it's in the middle. So, if you're gonna come here and get this cebada, get it with ice, yellow, it's better. Yeah. Oh, you didn't? I thought you had an expert with ice. No, oh, I didn't. I didn't want it. Yeah, because I want as much content as possible inside yeah, the cup. True. Makes sense. So, but it's you know I, I should have gotten ice. They only asked without ice because of my. Or the cold. The cold, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I got a little cold as well. All right, so this one you, is this still considered a uh, chucho, even though it's with pollo? Yeah, yeah, uh, just chucho de pollo, but. Okay. But in reality, the formal name is Pastelito de Pollo. Pastelitos de Pollo. Okay, so in El Salvador, they call it Chuchos de Pollo. Okay, <laughs> let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's good. This is a good snack. It's not that hot. I'm not sure I'm not sure how long it's been sitting in there, but if it was hot, it would taste a little bit better. But it tastes wonderful. And it's probably good to eat it with this, too. This is co Cortado? Cortido. Cortido. I always forget the name. Mmm. Mmm. Now that is some good Cortido right there, boy. Top of the line. <laughs> Top of the line Cortido de Salvador. Mmm. Really good. 
All right, so now next up, guys, we have the empanadas de leche. So now cracking this bad boy open, you'll see it has some leche cream inside. So if you guys like empanadas, this is how it's gonna be in a ball form. Let's see how it tastes, let's do it. Mmm. Qué rico. They're like sweet. Oh yeah. And it has some sugar on the outside too. Oh wow, oh wow. Mmm. They're good. That's good. Alex agrees. <laughs> Top of the line empanada right there, boy. Mmm. I can dig it. Torta de lote. Well, yes. Basically frito. the same as uh, the frito. It's called torta de lote. Torte de lote frito. Let's see how this tastes. I think this is what? Mantaquilla? What is this? I think that's cream. Sour cream. This is, is it sour cream? I think so. I don't know. It tastes like butter, bro. What does it taste really? like? Smell that. Yeah, it does smell like it. Butter? Like sour cream. Sa <laughs> it, it is. You're right. I don't. I put this thing on like it's butter, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, I don't think, but they, they put it next to it though. It might, it might, it might go with it. Yeah. I usually, if I ever eat it, my, I just eat it without it. Oh, I should have got a knife. Oh yeah. So, tor no, no, no. Torta de lote. Torta de lote, yes. El lote. Ah. Which is pretty much fried corn. Fried corn. All right, guys. Next up, let's see how it tastes. It's normal. Nothing wrong with it. Let's move on. All right, guys, rounding this off, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a bite of the budding and a bite of the platanos. I'm gonna go ahead and box all this up and put it in my room and eat it later. I'm not gonna eat it all right here because this has been a wonderful meal. Thank you to Alex. You're welcome. So yeah. So um, I don't wanna make myself too, too like full because I might eat something later on. Who knows? What's today? Today's Thursday. Is there parties on Thursday? Um. In Zona Rosa, yes. Santa Rosa? Zona Rosa. Zona Rosa? Yes. Oh, There's Santa always Santa. a party going on there. Huh. Huh. Maybe I should show some nightlife. Eh, uh, booting time. All right, guys. Let's see how this tastes. Wow. Wow, it has like a toffee taste, like a toffee coffee. This is the, one of the best I've ever had. This is 10 out of 10, top of the line. <laughs> Mmm, woo, I like, I like what's on top right here, you see that? It's like a brown sugar layer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's good. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, platanos, see? Let me tell you the truth, this is the first time I've ever seen a platanos this long before. From where I'm from, in the Puerto Rico ones, they always are chopped up, small, whatever, Cuban ones, Haitian ones. It's all the same, Latin America, baby. But they made the whole thing a platanos thing. Like, you know, wow. They didn't waste anything. <laughs> yeah, they didn't waste nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. It's a platanos. It's a plantain. It's good. All right. So overall, I rate this entire meal today a 9 out of 10. I had a great time here. Uh, what we call this place again? Tipigos Margot. Margot. Yes. All right. All right. So this is Ciudad Merilo. But as Alex stated, this is still Santa Tecla. Yes. All right. All right. That does it for me for this vlog. Stay tuned for more. I appreciate all of you guys from wherever you are watching these videos. We have guys from Sweden watching this. So shout out to you, Eric. We have guys from Australia. We have guys in all different countries around the world who are from El Salvador that wish that they can be back home. And so I wanted to show you these things to make you yearn to come back home. All right, guys, once again, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Ayan. Muy hermosa in El Salvador.